My name's Todd McAbee. We're here at the 2019 Ag in Motion Show in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Canada. Today what we'd like to talk to, to you about is uh, just a few features of why J&M, we feel J&M, um, maybe give you a couple advantages of our grain carts over our competitors. First thing I'd like to talk about is our tube design here. There's a, there's a lot of hype about how tall you can go, how forward you can go, how side reach you can go, and we feel we have the perfect combination here. The number one reason is we have a straight line tube. There's no U-joints in there, there's no curves in there. Um, ours is straight shot through the front. It folds, it compacts, it, it folds down across the front of the grain cart, will stay in the width of the grain cart, making it easy to transport it from field to field. Some of our competitors will shoot out the side. They may be sticking out the back three, four feet. We find that sometimes when you're parking it in a barn or moving it from field to field, that could uh, cause areas for, uh, you know, to damage the tube in that way. Um, this design here, our spout comes straight down. A lot of guys like that feature when the tube shoots straight down, you can shoot your seed. If you do need to feather it, there is a cylinder up there that you can feather the grain in the truck, sort of spread it out. Um, with this feature here too, you can get an effective side reach. You're roughly 13 feet wide. You're roughly 13 feet tall as well. So it's a, it's a good feature. It's a nice, straight, strong uh, feature for us here. The next thing I'd like to talk about is our drive system. Ours, one of the best things about the j and grain carts is they're just simple. There's no belts, chains, spoolies, sprockets to go wrong on them. Um, ours is a simple direct drive. We have a gearbox located in the rear of the cart. Comes up through a simple steel line drive shaft hooked up to a ratcheting style PTO. These PTOs here that we use on our carts, there's no slip discs in them. So if you do have issues, if you do overload it, you simply shut the unit down, it reloads the springs, and you're up and running again. There's no need to hardly ever get inside this clutch because it's a self-ratcheting style system. Um, one more feature that we feel we do pretty well out here at JM is the gusseting in the front here. Um, we have quite a few gussets here. We seem to build things big and heavy. Typically at JM, when you have issues, structural issues, uh, typically we ask, what did you hit? Or what happened? Or what bridge did you fall through? Because, you know, we just have, it's just a beefy, all well rounded cart. Um, and like I said, one of the main things JM has going on is they're just easy to use. Hi, I'm Joe Kanapke with JM Manufacturing. Talk to you a little bit more about the JM grain cart. This is a 1522 grain cart with leaner option on it. Uh, first thing I'd like to speak about is the tongue and our five point scale system. This cart is equipped with an iFarm scale system, which allows you to use your, uh, use your iPhone or your Droid phone or an iPad and bring up an app and it works as your scale head and multiple people can use it. It runs off of Bluetooth, anybody within 400 feet, and can also be used on multiple carts. How that ties into our scale system, we run a five point scale system, which gives you accuracy within plus or minus 1% of your weight. For a moving scale system, it's very good. We've had uh, numerous people tell me that they are being able to use it in highly, almost scale for weight type options. But with our system and how we have our axles, we have the best tongue weight in the business. We have 4,200 pounds on this 1,500 bushel cart. That's loaded tongue weight. We have a very balanced grain cart and a lot of our customers will remark on how balanced it is. It doesn't give you the buck. It doesn't give you the rock and roll in the cab seat that you have with some of the other of our competitors. I'm going to go back a little further now and talk about our hubs and spindles. This unit here is equipped with a 20 bolt, 20 bolt hub, which is a up, the, up option for these carts. You can also get the ton, 10 bolt hub. We run a six inch spindle. Our competitors, four and a half inch spindle. That's a big upgrade with it. 
Um, this model right here, 1522, can only be bought with 1250 rubber on it, or a track system, or the walking tandem. For the, our area up here, the 1250s and the track systems are the most popular to what's been sold with it. As you can get back here, as we go to the back of the cart, and kind of look a little bit, you can look in in between the wheel and the cart and see the six inch spindle there being held in. And then another thing that we have is the truss axle. Most of our competitors use a I-beam axle, which lends to twisting and moving. The truss system is the same as a bridge, bread trusses. So we use a truss axle underneath our grain carts. Most of our competitors do not. And that gives us, we feel, a lot more strength. I will bring you around a little bit more and show you what I was talking about, the leaner or the wide top. We do these on certain series of our grain carts. It sticks out an extra two feet, which gets you closer to the combine. When you have the very wide 40, 45 foot, even 35 foot heads, if they don't have the extendable auger on the combine, this gets you two feet closer. It also brings where you load into down lower three or four inches and gives you extra capacity. This is another feature that can only be found on a J&M grain cart.